Hey YouTube, it's Anila here and in today's video I'm going to go over something that I feel is extremely important um, dealing with TikTok. I personally, I will insert um, pictures on the screen somewhere, but um, I personally was going through a situation where um, I hit 10,000 followers on TikTok and then I've been met the requirements since my first ever video I posted on TikTok. My first video on TikTok um, um, at the time it was at 133,000 views. So in order for you to meet the qualifications to become monetized or in TikTok's case to get into the creator fund, um, you have to have um, 10,000 10, followers. You have to have 100,000 video views in the last 28 days, and you have to be 18 or over. I met all three of the requirements, and I kept getting a message that was saying something, like I'll in, insert it here on the screen, but I kept getting a message saying like, um, um, page cannot load or network issue or something like that and i'm like damn what is going on so i'm going to tell you what i did because i searched high and low on youtube and google for someone who could break this down what does this mean what do i do how long does this process takes and no one has it so i will give you um steps of what to do at least in my case of what i did so before i went into the creator fund i did go into creator marketplace and i made an account with them yada 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 set my price that's besides the point so after that i went directly to the verification plus and i put in all of my information there and then from there i went to the creator fund and I was trying to verify my age. So it's this long paragraph and it has two options. Like you have to scroll down for it to um, not be grayed out. So the first option will be something along the lines of you are 18 or older. The other option at the bottom is no, you're not over the age of 18. So if you click no, then of course you can't get into the creator fund. But if you are 18 and over, then you should be able to get into the creator fund. So I would click that and then it would take me to another page. Like it'll take me off of the TikTok app, put me onto the Safari. I have an iPhone. It'll put me on the Safari and then it'll just keep saying like page cannot load, network error, something. Like it was always something. And I was trying for a month and a half, y'all. Like every day. I was trying multiple times throughout the day and nothing was working. Like... I'm like, damn, what's going on? So I went into TikTok. There is a place where you can write them. Um, you got to go to the top three corner, the top corner on the right side, the three lines. So you want to go on there, click that, go down to report a problem, and then you can tell them about this. So I messaged them a message, something along the lines of, hey, I meet all the requirements to... Um, to become monetized. I am trying to verify my age and it's not working it keeps telling me that um, there's a network error or I just let them know my situation of what was going on someone wrote me back about two to three days later and was like sorry about the issue we're working our hardest to get get it fixed yada 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 and that was the only time they ever wrote me back I wrote these people at least three or four times and no one wrote me back after that um but what I did notice is if you're going through this go to your um make sure you write them Make sure you write them and then also go into your verification plus um, part and where your tax documents are. Go in there at the very bottom. I'll put a picture up here of what I'm talking about. I'll blur my information out. But at the very bottom, it said my my W9s, I think it said something like that. Um, it said that processing and it was saying processing for the longest. So it, I guess it was verifying my information, my legal information for my taxes. And I guess what happens is once that part um, goes through, and I think they said that part takes tw up to 20 days, but mine was a month and a half. So um, once, once everything was verified there, it no longer said processing and it 
um, went to be, uh, approved or some some shit it went to. So that part is good to go. So if you're going through this problem, make sure you go back to your verification plus part. Look at your tax info and make sure all of your information is correct and make sure your birthday adds up, okay? Make sure it adds up because if it doesn't, then listen, you 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 just put yourself in a, in a tornado, in the eye of a tornado because now you're messing with your own coins, sis, and don't nobody got time for that. So that's the issue that I have. Make sure you consist consistently and continuously write them about that problem because who wants to get, like, not harassed, but who wants to keep getting told all the time by the same person, your feature on your app is not working for me. And then a lot of people are pulling a race card with this, and I can't understand why. That's besides the point, but make sure you write these folks. That's all I'm saying. Make sure you write these folks so that they can know you're having a problem with your account and they can start working on yours, okay? Um, so now that that is said and done, I finally got, I tried again yesterday. I tried every day. So today is March 25th, March 24th. Yes. March 24th is when I was, I, I was verified. And once you click the button, like it'll, it won't tell you page, um, network, not respond in her page or load it, whatever. Um, it will now be to the part where you could click on it and it'll take you to the next step. Once you once you go to the next step, then you're able to just press the simple button and then boom, it takes 20 minutes and they'll let you know like, hey, um, you're in the creator fund. You've been approved to get in the creator fund. So that's that. Another situation is if you pay for your followers, don't think that you about to get you a check. Don't think that they're not going to find out. So if I was you and you don't went viral a few times, or even for those people that pay for uh, followers, pay for views, pay for shares, pay for engagement, any type of engagement, say bye-bye. Say bye-bye because you're going to get caught. Like, if you happen to pass through, you get through smooth sailing, good for you. But it just goes to show what type of person you is. You want fame that bad, you're going to pay for it. Um, besides the point, but if you're interested in buying followers or buying engagement, I would highly not recommend it because let's say, for instance, you do that and you do make it through the loopholes, the little cracks in the system, and you make some content and it's not getting and you're you don't have the money to pay for it and like real people is coming across your account like they're gonna know like bro you're not even making decent like decent content like nobody's gonna watch this people can i'm telling you when you i am currently at 16 over i'm almost at 17,000 followers on tiktok and within the last 28 days my channel has brought in over my content has brought in over 1.5 million views in the last 28 days in the last seven days i have brought in 901 i believe thousand views so people are going to know when you're authentic when you're genuine when you're yourself when you're trying to be somebody else that you're not like etc people can tell so Stop it. Get some help. Something to keep in mind, okay? Something to keep in mind. So I would highly recommend not to buy followers, not to buy engagement. Um, you know, do it the old-fashioned organic way. That's it. That's it. And that's all. It'll blow up. Your content will blow up. People will be looking for whatever it is. You'll make something interesting or show something. Look, it's going to come to you. Good things come to those who wait. Impatient people, no, I wouldn't trust them. I wouldn't trust them. But if you're having that problem, the network error couldn't load page issue, make sure you click on the three lines on the right side, the top right corner. Click on those three lines and then, damn, what is it? Click on those three lines and then you're going to go to report a problem and then you're going to um, write, you're going to say, no, this issue did not resolve my problem. Click no. And then once you click no, you'll be able to write them. And in a lot of cases, you're able to upload pictures, screenshots, whatever. If it's showing page, um, couldn't load page or network error, screenshot it, send that proof to them. That's it. Send it to them and tell them a little bit like, hey, this has been going on for a week. This has been going on for three months. This has been going on for a month. This has been going on for a year. Do that. 
do that and make sure you you stay on their ass and make sure you also check your verification plus because i feel like that is a hint there if that w9 part down there is still saying processing it's still going to keep telling you um couldn't load page or network error. Once that processing goes away, because that's what it did for me, I can only speak from personal experience and that is my experience. I will tell you from my experience, not from somebody else's experience that the story may have got twisted or bent a little bit along the way to get to me. Telling you from my personal experience, make sure you check that verification plus part. As long as it's saying processing, you're gonna get those errors. You're gonna get those pop-up messages. Once the processing goes away, that's when you're going to be able to do it. So it's kind of like a, a sign or whatever. But I was waiting for a month and a half. So yeah, I hope you found this video interesting, informative, educational. I hope I was able to help you out. And if you have any questions, any concerns, whatever problems it is that you're going through that I may have experience with, make sure you drop your comments in the comment section down below. I will get back with everybody ASAP. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the Banks Gang because if you ain't part of the Banks Gang, then you ain't part of no gang. And that's on what? Johnny ate a booger that did not taste like sugar, okay? So um, make sure you like this video. Make sure you share this video with your family and friends. And while you're at it, make sure you go follow me on TikTok. Everything is the same, baby. It's Anila Banks. Psh, all together, right here. Anila Banks. Make sure you go follow me there because I make some really dope cool creative diys as for instance my toilet here that is coming very soon um this is my toilet i made it into a uh, royal throne chair i have a corvus behind here i diy my entire wall here i diy this whole wall here i diy this vanity here i diy this mirror here and if you can see right here this is another diy i'm currently working on so yeah Make sure you head over there and show your girl some love because I would truly appreciate it. You will get to see my car and the rest of the stuff that I be coming up with because you're going to see things on TikTok from me first before you'll see them here. I'm trying to get in the moving groove of things to make everything do that. Right there. Lock up. Get together and lock up and don't come apart. That's what I'm trying to do. Thank you if you made it this far and until next time. Bye.